Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. First time I tried cleaning out a gas tank, it was a, the tank out of my tractor. And it was really rusty on the inside, so I strapped it to the front of my cement mixer and filled it with stone and some vinegar and started cranking it around. And I left it run for a couple of hours and it cleaned most of the rust out of it, but unfortunately the little stones got caught in the baffles. It still rattles. When I wanted to clean this gas tank, I tried vinegar at first, and, you know, it's some of the stuff came out, but this was really rusty. I thought, well, we're either going to fix it, or we're going to break it. So I decided I was going to make a real thing to actually turn the thing over. Now, I tried a couple of different ideas, and this is what I ended up with that actually seemed to work. I used to turn a lot of bowls on the lathe, and got so I really liked doing it. But one of the things that I needed to do was make a way to chuck the bowls in so I could turn the bottoms of them. That's what this is. This is the uh, face plate that I made up to clamp the bowls to, and there's a whole lot of stuff involved in it. But when I tried to clamp the gas tank onto the face plate, I ended up with a couple of things that didn't work and then I came up with this idea of using these metal brackets. Now there's already uh, nut inserts on the back side of the uh, face plate so that I could clamp the bolts to it or clamp the bowls to it and I just used those to hold the brackets on. Then I drilled them out to accept 5 16 uh, carriage bolts and used the carriage bolts to push and hold the gas tank in the center. Not exactly elegant. Well, I suppose you could say it's it's a good way of making it work. It held the tank and seemed to do a pretty good job. Well, that'll spin it, but I don't want to use this drill motor. That was just a temporary thing to see if it would work. Okay, that's going to make it so that I can fill this full of those uh, nuts and some more vinegar and seal that up because it's still got a lot of rust inside of it. A lot of rust in there. Now we have a Rube Goldberg set up here. And we have a rotisserie motor clamped in a universal vise that allows me to tip it. Now I'm going to dump a handful of bolts and various materials. 
materials in there. This is going to be Evaporust. So I have about a quart of that in there. Is that batch of bolts that I had, or nuts that I had in there? Ah, they're not gonna go. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Plug this in and hope they don't have evapor rust running out of it. No. Now let that run around in there a while. Only while I'm down here in the shop. I don't want to let this thing run by itself in case that motor decides to catch fire. Since how it's not going to be running steady, I expect this thing to take at least a day of run time. And that's going to take like three or four days of shop time just to get that much accomplished. So if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. And I hope this rotisserie motor stays together. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.